Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay. So uh, this is going to be a Aquarius uh, Sun Moon and uh, Rising as well. Weekly tarot reading June 3rd to uh, June 9th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the cards and we can uh, jump straight away to, to the reading itself. <clears throat> So uh, the first card which represents the topic for Aquarius this week, that will be the Eight of Cups, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges for Aquarius, this is going to be the Queen of Wands, the third card which stands for a positive aspect of the week, that will be the uh, Knight of Cups, and the last one which regards to the guidance of Aquarius, this will be the uh, Knight of Swords. Okay, so once again, guys, uh, Seven of Cups, it regards to the uh, topic of the week, followed by the second one, which uh, stands for the challenge here, Queen of Wands. Third card, which regards to the positive aspect of the week, is going to be the Knight of Cups. And then the last card, which stands for the guidance, that will be the Knight of uh, Swords. So Aquarius is, um, <clears throat> this week, well, how can I really describe the week? Well, it will be a week where, um, well, you are going to be disappointed by someone, all right? It's just what the week is uh, is all about. Someone that you place the great hopes at, it's, uh, they're either not going to fulfill their promise, they're not going to behave as you thought they're going to be or simply they're going to break the deal or rather like they're not going to fulfill the uh, the agreement that uh, you had. That is very well displayed in the first three cards but let's go with the first one first. Uh, so we do have the Eight of Cups and simply what the Eight of Cups here tells us guys or to you Aquarius is, is that even that you are to find yourself in a um, unpleasant situation okay throughout the week in regards to this specific person who can be a colleague of yours a friend of yours you know it could be a friend who uh, constantly asks you for money promising you that they're going to return those money to you in a certain time frame and they never do all right so yeah you are to be disappointed and you are to find yourself into a rather un not unfortunate but let's say uh, unsatisfiable uh, situation and uh, that will make you to just let go of okay so you you will decide that it's not worth the hassle anymore it's just this leads up nowhere and for that reason it seems that you are going to rather glance upon a new perspective that is to emerge very very soon which is the second person we have in the reading the accompanied card here that is to be the Wheel of Fortune formation. It is a passive enemies that we have and we most definitely are talking about misplaced trust 
that you did back in the days uh, that you thought that that is the guy or that is the girl you know this is my boy this is the boss or this is the leader i'm to follow you know that is the friend that i'm gonna have a good time with just to find out that it's actually it's not that way all right it's it's the person you thought you are associating yourself with it's not what you imagine it to be it is it is not what you have expected to be which leads us to the second card and that is the challenge the person itself queen of wands so uh there are a couple of ways well there are a few ways uh how this disappointment may uh play a role here so the first way and most plausible one is that you are being used okay so you have a good nature you have a good feelings and these feelings have been used from the queen of swords that is due to the fact that the queen of swords very uh, queen of wands excuse me the queen of wands very well knows how to press buttons very well knows people's weaknesses and has no regrets no remorse whatsoever to take advantage of those weaknesses the other way how you can get disappointment a bit disappointed by the queen of wands is domination so you associate yourself with this person whom you thought it is a very nice one a gentle one you know and uh, that you are a good match with let's say into a relationship and before you know it that person knows where you are constantly calling you telling you whom you can uh, associate yourself with as a friend and it's basically obtaining control over your life so and suddenly you realize that this, this isn't what you wanted okay so that is the other way how uh, the disappointment of this person here queen of wands can go through and the other way of disappointment is to see the ignorance or rather like uh, or rather like the lack of care so you are with that let's say lady and you are working on a, on the same project which is a lot uh, it, it is a lot at stake there and you see how disinterested she is i mean she she just you know doesn't care and she does shenanigans she does bullshit she can push the thing through you know she can be very good at what she's doing but she simply doesn't because she prefer not prefer but she is rather indifferent if you fail or not and that will disappoint you the accompanied card here that is to be the justice card formation it is a um active friends that we do have and uh well, basically, what uh, as the justice comes here, the additional challenge to the queen of uh, to the queen of wands is to to face her in the most appropriate way. How this could happen? Well, uh, first of all, you need to have that astute discernment. You know what is good for yourself and what is good for the grand scheme of things as well, because it will be very difficult for your behalf, Aquarius, or rather, very challenging. You know, to step for your rights and to be accountable toward oneself so the first step that you need to do is to recognize that uh, someone is basically taking advantage either of your kindness your capabilities or your skills and then confront them with all the arguments that you do have however another one stands in the picture here and that will be the next card which is the knights of cups now this is another person your new perspective so this person very imaginative but also it, it kind of like lacks a, a constructive vision in a sense of that they are daydreaming right they they always consider the best possible scenario and they deny or rather like refuse to consider the worst case scenario so that being said it is rather a, a quite cheerful guy or a girl it doesn't really matter and they always follow their their emotions kind of like their their dreams and for one happy coincidence here Aquarius you if you are not their dream you fall into the framework of their dream what I mean is that they may dream for let's say establishing a good family and you fall into this framework you're not the dream itself the good family but you're in the framework whom with they can make a good family all right that is just an example here the thing with the Knights of Cups is that they are very devoted to uh, to results meaning that they just not allow anything to happen by a chance but rather they prefer to toil for it so if that is about relationship here or establishing 
or choosing one over another for a relationship. Let's say you had to choose in between two people back in the days and you chose the one who is more cheerful, who is more initiative, all right, and who is more wealthy, handsome and so on and so forth, just to see that they are either indifferent to the relationship or they establish domination over you. So you now you have a change of heart for the other one here, which is the Knight of Cups. And uh, yeah, it's, um, what was I about to say? Yeah, it's, uh, they, they will simply, you know, uh, are not investing if, um, if this thing ain't gonna go for a long run. The point here with the Knights of Cups is that you can have someone to rely on. But the thing is that as well, uh, you need to be the, the sober brain into the, into the relationship. You have to be uh, the one who is grounded because they are not grounded, the, um, the Knights of Cups. The accompanied card that is to be the tree of swords and that is just a confirmation uh, formation here it is a uh, passive uh, passive neutrals and that is a confirmation that even if you have disagreements even if you hurt each other you know either most likely by words by by mental cruelty uh, there will be always that possibility that you can make it up for it with uh, with these couple of cards and as a matter of fact the chance to hurt each other through mental cruelty, said a bad word, it's um, it's negligible. With the three of cups to the knights, uh, with the three of swords to the knight of cups as well, it's very important to know that they will always going to present you the truth in a very milder fashion, meaning that uh, their intention is not to hurt you, but to make you learn from your mistake. Uh, from your mistakes. So either way, either this is a career or relationship um, incorporation or rather like empathizement here, uh, it can go for a long run. It is just, you know, you have to be the one who, who holds the brakes of uh, that thing that it is emerging in between you and the uh, Knights of Cups. Because otherwise, the, the whole situation will become winded. And before you know it, there will be a bunch of promises given to you, which are God knows when they're going to be fulfilled. It's because the Knights of Cups likes to talk a lot and likes to talk big, having no idea whatsoever how they're going to accomplish the promise. The only thing that they know is that they want to accomplish the promise. Okay, so that leads us to the last card, which is the Guidance, and that is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords here tells us only one thing, that you need to strive where your emotions drags you as well because the knight of swords although having a very acute analytic mind and intellectual agility the knight of swords always consult their decision making with their emotions meaning they don't do anything or they do not they do not decide in favor of anything that they don't like so this is exactly what you need to do here as well that is your guidance consult your logic with your emotions and the answer you require to make a move forward, for example, is this person right for me? Well, the only thing you got to do is just, you know, think logically and find out if what the logic tells you is what you want or what you find exhilarating and you are going to have your answer. The last card that is to be the Ten of Swords. And this is a completely different shade here, the formation. It is a active, uh, active supporters. And these cards regard strongly to the Queen of Wands. And it points that you have to be very decisive and uh, very unyielding when it comes to confronting the Queen of so the Queen of Wands, excuse me, the one that disappointed you. You need to be very strong in a sense of, uh, re not reckless, but ruthless. You just say, I don't want to be, for example, anymore with you. And no matter what she says or he says, that is, there should be nothing that to traverse your decision. Just remember the point of experience and allow that experience, as it is experience nonetheless, although poignant, poignant to, uh, to give you the necessary drive or momentum to provoke a new era in your life because this is what the Ten of Swords is all about, you know, um, finalizing the, the despondency in, one, in one's life, cutting off the dead meat and provoking a new era into one's life. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, guys, for June 3rd to uh, June 9, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.